This is a, uh, a rather, uh, a rather uh, disturbing development that we have a President of the United States who has deliberately put Israel in a, uh, in a, in a uh, vulnerable position by uh, publicly stating uh, that he supports Israel uh, going back to the borders of, uh, of Israel prior to when they were attacked. And, and, and we're able to take some ground as a result of being attacked. I think this is really important to understand that Israel's neighbors attacked Israel. Israel responded to those attacks and in, in so responding was able to take ground that gave them more of a, uh, of a defensible uh, posture vis-a-vis -vis future attacks. The Golan Heights, the West Bank in particular. And for the President of the United States to come and say, now after some 40 years of occupying uh, that ground and having that ground be part of Israel, that the President of the United States is going to say, well, you need to start your negotiations back from, from, from when your opponents attacked you, uh, would almost be like saying, well, we need to go, you know, someone telling America if there was a border dispute with Mexico, we need to go back to the days when, Me when Texas was part of Mexico. Uh, that would not sit well in America. It is not going to sit well and should not sit well in Israel. The bottom line is that a president uh, should not treat an ally like that. They should treat an ally as, uh, and, and Israel is the strategic ally. There is no uh, better ally in the Middle East than Israel. It is a vital uh, link for us from our military as, uh, posture. Uh, it is a vital link for, for us in uh, in. Uh, from a diplomatic point of view. And of course, it's vitally important, Israel, the state of Israel is important because of its, uh, of its role of providing a homeland to the Jewish people who have been persecuted in, uh, in all throughout the world uh, for, for thousands of years. So this is a, a, an important strategic alliance and one that I will stand by. There will be nobody stronger in this race as a defender of Israel. And I don't say that because I'm just saying it. You look at my record, there was no one stronger in the Congress when I was there uh, in defending uh, the, our ally and, and standing with our ally than I was.